Either of those, we have gotten quite a few requests to try this out. You'd recall that we have got quite a few search magnets, and a lot of people actually suggested we try lifting a car with them. One such magnet is rated at 600 kilos, and though that is slender metal, but let's do it. We don't need a crane because we have a lift. We'll just stick the magnets to the arms or tie them to them. I don't know yet. But we'll see if the roof is able to survive, I mean. We might just tear it off altogether, but let's go. This right here, guys, is pixel art. Put together using an unlimited photo construction set made by Mosabrick. Just imagine taking your favorite photo of your pet or a loved one, or even a meme, and turning it into pixel artwork which you put together yourself out of tiny cubes. And what's really mind-blowing is that the sky is the limit. Today you put together one picture and hang it on the wall. One month later you might want to make something new. You take the old one apart and put together a new one. Now that is brilliant. And the assembly process itself is absolutely fascinating. I put mine together with my entire family, which was very relaxing. It's something both grown-ups and kids can enjoy. It's a construction set, everybody loves them. The set comes with everything you'll need to create works of art, with more cubes than you'll ever need. And they come in different sizes. The bigger the set, the more detailed pictures you can make. Oh, and you can also combine four sets into a single enormous 1.5 by 1.5 meter picture. It is the perfect gift. Even for someone who's got everything, you are not just gifting a construction set, but also the capability of creating your very own artwork. The recipient, of course, can choose their own picture to assemble. This is personal, creative, and definitely memorable. And if you're located outside of the US, that's not an issue. You can find any of these same sets on Amazon. Just search for Mosebrick, it's that simple. So if you were looking for something truly unique, well, look no more. And if you use my code GARAGE, you can get a 20% discount for purchases from our official online store in the US. Link is in the description, make sure to go check it out. And treat yourself and your loved ones to a very unique gift. Grab this magnet and BAM! Oh, holy cow. Let's check how just the one holds on. I mean... I can easily rip it off with my hands. Not gonna lift the car like that. Okay, so you would have seen how I could rip one magnet off, but let's try two of them. Is the car lifting up? Can anybody see? Is it going up? There it goes. Terrific. They've stuck to the car. Although this one doesn't seem to be on that tight. Now let's try bringing the car up. Oh, that was too easy. Okay, so... This isn't working. We need to try four. Oh, wow. I think we're there. Now let's have a look. Nah, they're separating. Like right away. It would seem as if they're not clinging very well to thin metal. Do we have any sledgehammers, uh, chunks of metal? We do. Come on, open the window or the door. <laughs> All right, so we've attached two magnets. Underneath them we've got two sledgehammers. The magnets stick well to them. And now let's try... That was a massive fail. Great, Ivan stuck it on. All right, so we've stuck four magnets on. Underneath we've got some massive pieces of metal, sledgehammers and so on. And now let's see if they can lift the car up. Each magnet is rated at 600 kilos. Minus one bit. Minus another bit. Another fail. Oh, I know what to do. Last time we stuck magnets to magnets. Two magnets with sheet metal sandwiched in between. 
and we were ripping off fenders. Good stuff. So that's what I think we should do. We'll start by using just one. I mean to say we'll stick two to one spot. Or if they don't hold up. Six and eight. Again. Spot on. So one magnet. Or two, rather. And immediately we are seeing results. Okay, why did it just separate from the arm? Oh, well, they hold on well to each other. Screw this bolt in there. And we'll attempt to lift it up by the bolt. That'll do, and let's try this out. Interesting to see what happens now. Is it going up? Check that out. There's bug breaking away. Is that what's happening? Very nice. Holy moly, for real? Oh, holy cow! Is that as far as it'll go? Lift won't go any higher. But how do we separate them? Oh, right. One of them is down there, the other is down here. So when they're here, the rear end lifts up, meaning we should put them over here somewhere. Two magnets are working wonders, look at that. Okay, guys, we've moved the two magnets closer to the engine. Now we see how this is going to lift off. Amazing. For real? Okay. You saw that the car was lifting up? Let's try four magnets now, yeah? Okay, so... Right. Look for where to stick it. They're not connected yet. Show us the coordinates with your fingers. Over here and over here. So here's where we're at. That's four magnets, two up top and two beneath the roof, and now... If they're rated at 600 kilos each, then they should be able to pick up 1200 kilos. That's if you stick them to metal. But sticking two magnets to each other, I mean... Will they be able to carry even more? I have no idea, but let's try and see. One pair did a very good job. And now let's see how two pairs do. For real? Whoa, now. What's up? <laughs> the roof is broken. Yeah, the front end is heavy. What if... Roof is folded looking good. Not too many signs of damage to the car. Roof notwithstanding. Looks like the pillars have also caved in. Nice. Okay, stick them here, maybe? Oh, on the sides? Yeah, closer to him. Problem is, this is broken. The roof is broken, though we can stick the magnets to here. Or to this. We can do that, no problem. Did you see that? That was neat. Whoa, they almost hit me in the teeth. And here we go. Making progress. In theory, they should be good for 1200 kilos. It should get lifted, uh, nope. Still separating. But we almost got the car up. We'd better add some more magnets. Now 
let me just... Where is it? Oh, there it is. Stick it on. Like that, excellent. Do we have another bolt somewhere? Very nice, and it required no help, like... Yeah, just the height and... What happened? Did the magnet snatch the bolt? That rascal. Now we've got four pairs, each rated at 600 kilos. That would make for a total of 2400, right? In terms of capacity. And they've lifted the car. No, I'm gonna need some help. Get over here. We have liftoff. You see that? And one pair is separated. Go film that Slava quick. It is suspended on three magnet pairs. And there you have it. This is scary. That was pretty epic. Yeah, I think we should call it. War was also a bit dodgy. Because one pair had separated, but on three... Pairs of such magnets, we were... Able to lift the car. Yes, the center of mass has moved way forward. The rear end was going up unlike the front. We pushed onto the rear axle to get it up. To get the front wheels off the ground. Which we did. Cyril was putting all of his weight onto the rear. And I was pushing down as well. Let's call it about 80 kilos of force. Optimistically speaking, but in any case... The car got off the ground, for real. So we are looking good here, the magnets pull strong. They are plenty strong. And they've survived. So if you have any ideas, we're gonna be monitoring the comments. In case somebody does suggest something interesting. So this has been a massive success, so, and that's it for this video. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.